हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू एक उम्मीद हेल्प यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्प्रिंग बूट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज थैंक यू फॉर ऑल योर सपोर्ट प्लीज डू हिट ए लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल ओके सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस स्वैगर एंड आई ऑलरेडी गिव यू द बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द स्वैगर एंड द कन्फिगेशन सो इन लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द पॉम डॉट एक्स एम एल कन्फिगेशन फॉर स्वैगर्स सो वी हैव टू यूज दिस स्प्रिंग फॉक्स डिपेंडेंसी इन योर पॉम डॉट एक्स एम एल दैट इज फॉर द स्वैगर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन फॉर योर स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन सो प्रॉब्ली वॉट यू नीड टू डू गो टू योर स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन एंड एड दैट डिपेंडेंसी स्प्रिंग फॉक्स सो लेट मी एड हेयर आई जस्ट एडेड दिस वन so now you can see so i have added these one is the this one dependency another one is this so both are from io.spring fox and this one is for spring fox swagger 2 and this one is swagger ui okay and i am using version 2.5 so this is the first thing first you have to do the changes in your pom.xml add these dependencies and the second things once your dependency is added you have to create a configuration class so let me create that one as well so i am going to create that class in a separate package so i am going to provide this name as a students is api dot docs okay now in this package create a class swagger config okay so in uh, to use this swagger first this is a configuration so i'll have to annotate it as a configuration annotation and to enable the swagger there is a annotation enable swagger this one yes enable swagger too so this annotation enable the swagger and swagger will automatically read all your api so from controller if you see we have couple of api so swagger will automatically read all this api and create a documentation once we added this one okay so let's quickly start this application now my application is started and you can see here it is now checking for all this dependency and yes here you can see couple of restful api so these are configuration resources so let me open this slash resource so once you copy and go to browser paste this local host yes local host swagger resource so once you click on this one now you can see this information name default location is this so this is telling you like go to this location okay now again i'll have to go to v2 slash api docs okay so this is your swagger version 2.0 in info is the description version title all these information about this so that all automatically comes you can see here the base path tag name is the controller student controllers so these are the basic information that we will get so these all are in a formatter because i have used the chrome extension for to format the json object otherwise you will see in your browser you can see result like this so you can use that formatter okay and this is about this api and the second one is the swagger swagger ui dot html 
so this is that swagger link swagger ui dot html so now this is your default page so if you did not do any customization so by default your document of this all these api comes something like this so this is my student controller let me go to my application okay so this is my student controller okay so this is a student controller class now in this student controller class i have a couple of api the first one is example slash v1 slash a student okay so this one example slash v1 slash student so for this i have just given value is nothing and the method i did not provide any method okay so that is the reason it takes every method you can see delete get head option patch post put everything so either you will have to provide that method like this this in your application for the above api as well so let me add here and method is by default get i'm going to add because previously it was get if you if you not provide any method by default it is a get method so either you'll have to provide it or not provide it but if you did not provide it swagger will create all this so let me refresh the page again okay now you can see this example v1 we have a get method and example v1 slash students we have one post method so i have one get method and for same i have one post method so these two are coming in your documentation another one is the delete that i have already created this one is the get a student and this one is the put okay so particular student you want to get for this get and so these five api we have created so that is the how easy swagger all this do for you you don't have to worry about like they automatically read all your previously built api and all these things so that is very helpful okay so probably i believe you like this video and in next video probably i will try to customize this and also do some more uh, configuration related to the swaggers so stay tuned thank you so much